Hello everyone, in today's video, I will be talking about the assignment operators in Python. In my earlier videos, I have explained about the arithmetic operators in Python, the logical operators in Python, and the comparison operators in Python. In today's video, I will be talking about the assignment operators. So let me tell you, there are 8 types of assignment operators in Python, which are the equal, the plus equal, the minus equal, the multiply equal, the divide equal, the modulus equal, the exponent equal, and the floor division equal. These are the eight types of assignment operators. Let us take some examples so that we can understand about them better. Here I will take a variable a and I will write a is equal to 1. So here in this case, this is a variable a which has the value 1 assigned to it. It has been done with the help of this equal assignment operator. What it does is, it stores the value 1 in the variable a. This is the first kind of assignment operator which is the equal assignment operator. This assigns the value 1 to the variable a. Now, if we take double equal signs, then this becomes a comparison operator, which actually is a totally different topic. Now, we want to use the equal operator, which is the assignment operator and it assigns the value 1 to the variable a. Now, let us move on to the plus equal operator, which is the second type. So here, I am taking the same example and I will write a plus is equal 1 and I will then print a. So let me explain what actually is happening here. This actually is a short form which can be elaborated as a is equal to a plus 1. So that means whatever value either 1 or 2 we provide here, the value of a will be incremented by that. So this is a is equal to a plus 2. So what it means is the top example is a short form of the below example. So a plus is equal to 2 is a is equal to a plus 2. This is done, done by the plus equal assignment operator. Now what happens is the initial value of a is 1 and it will be incremented by 2. So it is a is equal to a plus 2. So when I run it, we should get 1 plus 2 that is 3. So you can see here the answer is 3. This is done by the plus equal assignment operator. Now if I change it to minus equal and change the value to 1. Now this is similar to a is equal to a minus 1. This is the minus equal operator. So this is the short form that I have written on top and this is the elaborated form. So when I run this program, what we will get is a equal to a minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that is 0. As you can see in the output, the answer is 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. This is done by the minus equal operator. Now we will change it to the third one which is multiply equal to. This again means a is equal to a into 1. This step can be anything. This number can be anything. I am taking 2 now and then this will again change to a equal to a into 2. Now if I change the value of the variable a to 2, so what we should get is 2 into 2 that is a is equal to a into 2. The value of a is 2. If I run it, then I should get 2 into 2 that is 4. See, As you can see here, the answer is 4. So this is the multiply is equal to operator. Now I'm taking the fourth one which is divide is equal to which means the value of a will be divided by the value 2. It can also be written as a is equal to a divided by 2. So our initial value is 2 and it will be divided by 2 again. So the answer should be 1. Now if I'm taking 4 again dividing it by 2 the answer should be when I run it is 4 divided by 2 which is 2. 
and you can see that python has by default changed the integer value to a float value because the answer is 2.0 this is done by python automatically again i am taking the next operator which is exponent equal to here in this case i will take the value of a to be 2 so the actual thing that is happening is a is equal to a double star 2 that means a is equal to a to the power 2 here in my case the value of a is 2 so 2 to the power 2 so when i run it i should get the answer as 2 power 2 which is 4 you can see here the answer is 4 so this is the exponent equal to operator the last one that we have is the floor division operator which is also denoted by double forward says followed by an equal sign here it can also be written as a is equal to a double forward says 2 or a floor division 2 now what this will do is it will print the quotient in this case so 2 divide by 2 the quotient should be 1 now i'm running my program as you can see here in the console we will find the answer to be 1 because the quotient when 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. This is the logic behind this. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video. Thank you. Happy learning.